All right, new this morning, whether it's a spring break trip or a summer vacation, where you fill up could make a big difference in your wallet. John Shumway just came back from a trip and is reporting from home this morning on the key to smart gas buying. And we hope you had a great vacation, John. I did, David. Thank you very much. Uh, but there is a time to come home and it does cost a lot to fill this thing up. Now, I've seen this before, and I saw it again this time, that as you get further to the south, the gas prices get a whole lot cheaper. And we're not talking about pennies on the fill-up. We're talking about saving dollars. Almost every state has a different amount of taxation. Of course, Pennsylvania's tends to be a little bit higher. Uh, in fact, one of the higher in the country. Patrick DeHaan of GasBuddy.com says, as a general rule, it's advantageous to almost always fill up outside the state. That is, if you are in a border situation, whether that's the northeast, south, or west border. For instance, if you're traveling west. Ohio's gasoline tax is uh, quite a bit lower, some 20 cents a gallon lower at last check than Pennsylvania's. And if you're heading south, check the prices before you go. You might want to fill up in West Virginia or make sure you have enough gas to get to Withville, Virginia or heading toward the east, time your fill up for Maryland. But generally, if you're headed south, South Carolina has amongst the nation's lowest prices. So if you're going considerably further south, you may find better prices. You'll easily find circumstances uh, across the country where you'll spend 20 to 40 cents a gallon more or less, depending on what side of the state line you're filling up on. So it's a pretty good idea to check uh, Dahan's gasbuddy.com before you leave because you can get a sense for exactly how much it's going to cost you. And then you can plan your trip accordingly as you go south or east or west, whichever direction you're headed uh, to get to those cheaper gas prices. And over a vacation, David, that can save you a lot of money. Oh, yeah, it can make a big difference. So what if you're not leaving the state of Pennsylvania, you're just traveling across Pennsylvania? Is there a difference from one end of the state to the other? There is, and we tend to be the more expensive on the uh, scale. According to AAA, it'll cost you a little bit less as you head a little bit further east, especially into central Pennsylvania. However, we're only talking about pennies on the gallon if you're staying in Pennsylvania because the gas tax is all the same. So you might want to wait till mm -hmm. you fill up uh, if you're headed into central Pennsylvania. All right. Interesting. Good information. Thank you, John. Have a good morning.